This video is going to be a part two. In the first video, I showed you how to find high quality backlinks using ChatGPT for any niche. Essentially what we did, we used the GPT-4 model with the plugin mode enabled. We asked ChatGPT to find a similar high quality um, backlinks or websites for um, our own unique website. And then we refined that list to only include websites that allow you to guest post. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create customizable in-depth and high quality guest posts for any websites that increases the likeliness that it'll actually accept your guest posts and you can regularly contribute to that website so that you can get high quality backlinks for your own site. Firstly, let's pick up from where we left off. We've already decided on a website that we'll be using to um, create a guest post for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna head over to the blog section of this website and I'll be going through some of their recent and most popular blog posts to figure out what is their writing style, the tonality in which they use, the intended audience and exactly what they're looking for when it comes um, to a blog post. An easy and free way for you to figure out the most popular blog post is by popping that URL into a free tool like Uber Suggest, scrolling down to the bottom and you'll be able to see their top pages. So their top pages or blogs are going to be um, these URLs right here. So we can click on any one of these and we'll click on the top ranked blog post for this website, which is how to remove background in Photoshop. And we're gonna copy that URL and we're gonna head back over to ChatGPT. And I've asked the AI to read this blog post and extract the main writing style, the tonality, intended audience, and any unique writing style that we can use to duplicate this blog post. So if I scroll down here, um, I should be using the web pilot mode. So that is the plugin that I usually like to use, but for some reason it's using a different plugin, but that's fine once we get the required information. Okay, so we get the writing style and tone. It's informative and detailed, conversational tone, used of visuals, intended audience, practical examples, links to resources, tips, and recommendations. And we're getting um, some writing here on how we can duplicate this blog post style. So let's go ahead and copy over this content. And we're gonna head over to the playground mode because I believe that is the best method for you to use when writing high quality content. If you don't have access to the playground mode, then you can do the same thing in the ChatGPT interface on their website. I'm gonna paste that information within the system here. And what we're doing here is priming the AI. So I've told it that you are an expert blog post writer specializing in writing engaging and informative guest posts for, and I would probably add in that website in which you're writing for or for whatever niche you're writing for. Now let's head back over to ChatGPT. And in the first tutorial, we already generated some blog post topics. So if you wanna see how I did that, just check out the last tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So let's write on topic number two, which is exploring the future of CSS. What is next for web developers? And that is going to be the blog post topic in which we'll be writing about. The first thing that we'll do is generate an outline. So the prompt in which I'm using is your first task is to take the information in the system and the blog post topic and I've pasted it in that topic and a little bit of a blurb about what that topic is about. Write an in-depth and detailed blog post outline, include every single question or topic a person would have in relation to that blog post topic and always write in markdown. We're gonna decrease the temperature to about 75. We're gonna increase the frequency penalty just a tad and we'll also increase the presence penalty just a tad as well and we're gonna max out the length. Now let's go ahead and run this and take a look at the outline in which we're able to get back. If you like this process and you would like me to write you a free article of your choice, just click the link in the description below this video, fill up the form and enter the topic in which you would like me to write about. I've pretty much nailed down the process when it comes to generating high quality articles using ChatGPT and the playground mode. So check out the link in the description below this video to try out our services for completely free. And if you like it, you can always go ahead and get a paid plan. So here is the full blog post outline in which we were able to get back and it's pretty good. We get an intro, part one of CSS components, part 1.2, upcoming CSS component features, cascade layers, scoop styles, layout grids, da da da, masonry layouts, aspect ratio control, tips and recommendations for using layout grids, upcoming CSS functions and properties, and then tips and recommendations and a conclusion. So very in-depth and comprehensive blog post outline. So now let's go ahead and generate the full article. The problem that we'll be using is your first task is to use this information in the system and the blog post outline above to write the full in-depth article. Always include facts, lists, and tables right in the style and format in the system. So I just kind of repeated this to make sure that it's gonna write in that style and tone. Write long, in-depth, and detailed paragraphs and always write in Markdown. So let's go ahead and run this and it's gonna 
write the full article for us. And once it's finished, we'll go over it, read, make sure everything makes sense. And then if you have to make any changes or expand the article, we can then do so at that time. Okay, so here is the full article in which we're able to get back. And from the looks of it, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and copy this over and convert it. Here's the full article when converted. As you can see, it looks pretty good. We get an intro, part one, part two. It's very well formatted. It has list. Um, it has um, facts and tips, and it's a very high quality blog post in my opinion, and definitely something that could get you a guest post on a website like this because it's very niche specific, it's very technical, and we've also included the prompt so that it's writing in the style of some of their uh, top ranked blog posts. So it allows us to get a higher chance of being approved for our guest posts from this website. In terms of words, it's about 1300 words. So if you wanted to, you can always go ahead and add another prompt to expand this article if you wanted to get more words. But overall, this is the process that I would use if I wanted to get guest posts for high quality backlinks or websites within my niche. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.